A lot of power tools use nickel-based batteries, and out of the box it seems like a great choice. But after a couple recharge cycles, you'll notice that the tool doesn't pack quite the same punch anymore. The reason is that nickel-based batteries themselves are pretty bad in terms of longevity and power delivery, which is why I've modded a few of my tools to fit a single 18650 lithium-ion cell. They're great for power delivery and easily replaceable. I got this new Dremel from a friend who wanted to throw it out because the battery couldn't keep up, so I've decided to mod it to fit two lithium-ion cells in a charge controller. This is the new Dremel I plan on saving. As you can see, it's pretty big. Almost half of it is the battery. So we should have plenty of room to play with. I'll be using two 18650 cells in series to come as close as I can to the labeled 9.6 volts. After a few hours of charging, you can see that the battery is so dead it can barely cut cardboard. These are the two lithium ion cells I'll be using. As you can see, the charge controller sits on top and there are four sets of wires. Two are the input and two are the output. Before we go ahead and add that, let's take apart the Dremel itself and see what we're working with. To clean up the placement of the new batteries, I decided to take apart the old battery pack just so I can get its housing for the new ones. Now it's time to add the battery pack. To start, I'm just going to go ahead and solder the output of the charge controller wires to the input tabs of the Dremel. I had to rearrange the batteries in the charge controller just so it'll fit better inside of the case. And now it's time to solder up an input jack for charging the batteries. And just like that, it's time to wrap this project up and give it a test. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned for the next project.